my bell. Y'all, I'm still not 100%, but I'm going to bring y'all this video anyway. <laughs> so with that being said, I wanted to do a really quick review for y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I get tired of raising my Zuby and a mesh babies and having to force them to stay in sit mode or in lay mode because I can't have them crawling through the walls and whatnot in the house. And I've tried a bunch of play pins on Marketplace and none of them have worked except this one. So I'm going to pan the camera around to show you. I've put the babies down multiple time, times to make sure it worked and it does. And I wanted to share it with you because y'all know I'm all about enhancing role play. So if you look, <laughs> once I get the camera straight, there is baby Femi. Hi, mama. She's eating cereal with her little hoops in. And there is her twin in crime, Abi Oye. Him is sucking his fingers. We're going to let him be because he's been fussy this morning. And this is the playpen that I've put together in the sitting area. And that way, if we have company, there's somewhere for the babies to go. And we, like, I know me and mom and Kimbella like to have our little wine and eat our little food so we can have our talks our tea times ding, ding. um and it's hard when you you're worried about the babies getting into stuff and things of that nature well here you can give them their toys and their food and all you got to do is come check on them as you can see they are free to roam Abe is back there doing whatever he wants to do and he's not going through any walls. I won't find him outside or in the sky somewhere. Him going to be right here. Ain't that right, Abe? Look, he already got an attitude. So anyway, I'm sure y'all like, okay, girl, that's enough rambling. Tell us what it is. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to let y'all know it is very, very inaffordable. And I got, like I said, I got it straight from the marketplace. I don't even think the creator knows what a gym it is. I'm going to open the market page page real quick. And boom, here it is. It's like you see there. As y'all can see, I bought it a long time ago, but this is my first time testing it. It's only 199 Linden. And it was made by Pitter Patter Paul. So shout out to Chibi Tamura. Um, and this is it. It is a mesh play gate. And it's copied, modified, only five land impacts, and you can have it in round or square. Now, I know you're probably looking like, wait a minute, round or square? I didn't see yours like that. Yours look rectangular. Well, since it's modified, all I had to do was connect two square ones and adjust them. And it's really, really easy to do. So, I'm going to turn this around. Y'all, I'm be honest with y'all. I ain't even noticed that this blue one. Which one of these supposed to be a door? I really just looked at the ad and saw that one of them was supposed to be a door. I got to do better. Is this one? Shut the front door. <laughs> so all I did, if you can't already tell, was get two squares, put them side by side, and then move. Of course, there would have been pieces on the side to create walls, but I just moved them because it's modified. So all you got to do is put it in edit mode. And I will show y'all real quick. Look at my baby playing with him stacks. Wait a minute, y'all. We got to take a pause for the cause. Look at him playing with him stacks. And so handsome. Look. Hi, baby Abe. Y'all, I know I sound like T-Boss, but trust me, I'm not 100% today. And him has him earrings in. Look at him so handsome. How is your man? All right. Sorry, y'all. But as you can see, the babies are crawling. Femi, where's she at? She over there, man. And they're not going through walls. They're not ending up in random spots. And I put them out for extended periods of time doing random parts of the day to see if, oh, was it luck? It worked every single time. So I'm going to take y'all upstairs, I guess, to one of the empty rooms. And I'm going to show y'all how I made it this big for all y'all who don't know how to edit stuff if you know how to edit stuff you can go ahead and exit out the video go ahead and copy you a play pen in fact i might do a giveaway just because it's so cheap anyway but um you can go ahead and copy you a play pen while i take the rest of y'all upstairs and for y'all wondering when the house tour is coming when i decorate the upstairs because i literally have only decorated downstairs so far and y'all see how many how many rooms do i have up here one two three lord four five 
six, seven. Yay. So I got seven bedrooms I haven't decorated. Anyway, let me pull out this playpen so we can keep this video short and sweet. Hopefully y'all can hear me. If anybody's messaging me, I did not pull it up. Excuse me. So I'm going to apologize in advance while I just let me rev it. Pastel mesh. There you go. So here y'all see it in my inbox and you have the option of round. This is what the round looks like. It's pretty big already. So if you don't have like, you're not trying to make an entire area like I did, you could just res it as is. So this is the round one. Uh-huh. Y'all stop. I should have turned my notices off. This is the round one. <coughs> and I'm going to take that up. You could delete it because it's copy. And then this is the square one. So, like I said, it's pretty big on its own. I just needed a rectangle for that room. And this is how I made it for that area back there. This is a pretty big area, so I should be able to do it here. So, here's the normal size of the square one for anybody wondering. Again, it's more than big enough, but I needed a whole area, and so I just used the playpen as a gate. I had a baby gate, but I still needed to stop the babies from being able to crawl through the wall. So the other gate itself worked. It's just that I would have had to put a whole bunch of pieces together. And ain't nobody got time for that. So right click. Edit. Hold down your shift button. This only works for copyable items. Hold down your shift button and slide. Boom. Duplicate it like it was nothing. So all I do is I go into edit linked. And I'm going to take this piece. Unlink it. And I'm going to go back, edit linked again, this piece, unlink it, boop. And y'all going to see me do it with the other two pieces on the inside. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. I'll try to edit that out if I can. And then, now that you have, did I unlink it? Just in case. So now that you have them unlinked. You can definitely just move them out of the way. You can use them. <laughs> you can use them to extend this and make it larger. Really, come on with all these notices. Y'all getting on my nerves today. You can use these pieces to make it larger like I was trying to say. Or you could just delete them. And then boom. Then you click that section. Hold down control click the other side click link and then you can go in and modify textures as you see fit i'm just showing y'all real quick and there y'all have it now i got this extended baby gate <coughs> excuse me y'all uh, i told y'all i'm not 100 percent today but that's all i wanted i wanted to show y'all that because if you're like me i like to have um play dates with other single moms and this helps to enhance our role play when we don't have to leave the baby stuck in sitting or laying mode. They get to roam freely. We put their, cere their cereal out, their cups out, their toys out, and they can actually play like babies versus having to put them, have them stuck in one pose because you don't want them crawling through a wall or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. I was excited. I have been working on this for a while because it was very hard for me to find a playpen that works. If you go make a purchase from Pitter Patter Paws, I believe that's what, let me go look. Yeah, from Pitter Patter Paws, please make sure you let them know that Shell Janera sent you. And I hope you all have a great day. All right, what is that on my hands? Love y'all for free. Peace down the middle.